oh, you wouldn't be surprised to learn, John, but for many years when FASB decision makers appeared on this program, they spoke about the need to, quote, harmonize, end quote, U.S. GAAP with the international accounting standards. In recent years, I noticed that they were singing a slightly different tune and were discussing the need to, quote, converge, end quote, GAAP and IFRS. On last month's program, we reported on Sir David Tweedy's farewell address in which he advocated the harmonization of global accounting standards. From your perspective, John, is there really a difference between converging and harmonizing the accounting standards? Becky, there's a little story, I guess, that supports uh, some of that verbiage. Uh, if we were sitting here and having a discussion in uh, 1997, uh, we would be talking about the rest of the world uh, applying U.S. GAAP. We would be talking about the rest of the world converting to U.S. GAAP. The feeling at that time was we had the best accounting standards in the world. Uh, we had a support structure in place to develop those standards. Very few others did. Uh, and globally, we were the dominant um, comp or country in the marketplace and that it simply made sense to convert to U.S. GAAP. Unfortunately, we had those uh, fraud examples that took place in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, that caused the accounting standard setting process and resulting outcomes to be criticized by those around the world, uh, many suggesting that U.S. GAAP uh, may not be any better than any other accounting bases in some other country, and why should the world convert to a flawed U.S. GAAP uh, accounting standard setting basis. And that led to the creation of the International Accounting Standards Board in 2002 and the resulting um, growth of international financial reporting standards around the world to the point that today approximately 135 countries are following international financial reporting standards. So when we talk about words such as harmonization, words such as convergence, some of those words, or those words specifically, have really lost a great deal of meaning over the last few years because what is really happening is that we are converting to international financial reporting standards. That is, we in the United States are converting international financial reporting standards. The umbrella is convergence because that's been the term that's been used for some time. But when you take a look at the results and you take a look at the influence on these joint projects by the uh, folks from the IASB, it becomes very clear that uh, what we're doing is we are now converting to international financial reporting standards uh, as opposed to this joint convergence of equals, that simply is not happening today.